Jesus for the
Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us, to pardon what conscience dreads, and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. We ask this all through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. <clears throat> so the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all wild animals, but none proved to be a suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, this one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. For that, for out of her man, this one had been taken. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Our response will be, may the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May, may the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. May the, May the Lord, Lord bless, bless us all the days of our lives. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. May, May the, the Lord, Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Behold, Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, he for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
gospel according to Mark. Glory the Pharisees approach Jesus and ask, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, What did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God created, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer one, but so they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. And people were bringing children to him that he might touch them. What the disciples would do. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant, said to them, let the children come to me, and not prevent them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such things. Amen. I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them, placing his hands on them. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Until I learn to read and comprehend what the marriage vows are all about, it never occurred. 
killed the woman who was here and the Sarah. Here is two people who have promised themselves that they love each other. And they come before the church, they come before God, and all of the witnesses there. And they pledge vows to each other that they will be loving toward one another, that they will be caring toward one another, that they will hold on to one another as sisters and help. And that this joining of the two is not the one week, the one, one or two years, but they promised themselves to each other for a lifetime. And they called it all for unto the young the heart. And as I went through this ritual of what was the one who said? New ideas and new aspirations came in my mind. And the things that I once understood took on different meanings. And it began to grab a feeling of my emotions. And I'm thinking that this wedding is what I should have known when I had wed. The thoughts that I'm receiving now should have been interpreted to me when I got married. Or when we got married. To each one of you who are sitting here with your spouse or your spouse at home or in another church, the bond of marriage is a unity bond. It's not just between two people. But it's between the two individuals that promise themselves to each other and God. You see, God made the wedding. God made the wedding feet. God made both individuals that promise themselves to each other. And he did it out of love. And what he wants you and I to remember is that everything that he created was all good. And it's not what we say and do to each other that is going to keep the wedding together or the marriage together. It's the life that we believe and the life that we live in Christ Jesus that keeps us together as a man. Marriage is not an easy task. It's not something that we just step up one day and say, oh. I love you enough to marry. Let's get married. Marriage is something that we constantly about the troubles, about the problematic things that might come up in your life. And it is supposed to be pushed to you as to how it is that you resolve these things. You keep God in the center of your lives and you ask God for the help. Even though the wife is supposed to be a mate to the husband, she is just a equal to that. Because procreation comes about. The equality of what the male does and what the female does is totally different. But it's the balanced atmosphere, it's a balanced environment, it's something that both of them have to be communicated about. They are blessed. And they are different Now, the two that have become one and over That spirit that has brought up this child becomes a concept, a concept in your life that you did not deny or get rid of. Marriage. God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner. That suitable partner is woman. 
and the letter from the Hebrews. God was made lower than an angel because he became but you and I in flesh. As our Lord God, let his son go through the problematic things that you and I go through every day. He did not turn away from the blessing of his father. He received him more food in his heart and he asked him to take care of his son. And you and I know the result of that because we will do the same thing. We want to go do the same thing we love about this. We challenge one another in this life with goals and attitudes and embracing and loving and caring and doing for one another as God has already done for us as David did for us. And as the Holy Spirit keeps inviting us to do this. And we build ourselves with a grace. Love to each other, saying that I love you, husband and wife, wife and husband, family and friends. My enemy, I love you too. Sometimes we put butts there. When we put butts in there, they are the top. The Lord doesn't want you to have doubt about the love for one another, He wants you to just live it. I can tell you I love you every day and you can hear but what I do and how I can act with you speaks louder than those words. And it tells me whether your words are full truth, absolute devotion to one another. One of the a wedding ceremony that we speak about, that which we try to live with. It's not an easy task because we've got two individuals from different backgrounds that come together in love and with that love. They can really be doing each other and truly love the God. And question how do we do it without God? Let us not profess faith that God who loves us as we pray our truth. I believe in one God, the Father of all things, of all things. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God of God, light of light, true God of true God, the God of God made, not substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, us made him for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified. Who has spoken through the prophets? I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In hopeful anticipation of the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer these petitions to our loving God. For renewed sensitivity and care within the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For deepening love among married couples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
for healing for those who have experienced divorce. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for an end to the COVID-19 pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For St. Therese, the little flower of Jesus, and St. Francis of Assisi, to intercede for us before the throne of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for eternal rest for all those who have died, especially Floyd Green, Brenda Evans, Sister Eduardo, and Eloise Joshua, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Please add your own intentions. For complete healing, Sister Smith Jr., let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. Gracious God, we offer these prayers to you in the intercession of your Son, Jesus Christ, our heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands. Accept the Lord, we pray, the sacrifices that are included by your hands. And through the sacred mysteries, we celebrate with equal service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us as you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we have lost to disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels of faith, we too give you thanks as an exaltation in the Christ. Spirit, 
Can he make a less of a general offering from you? So we may obtain an inheritance in your life. Especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the same church with less note of this power. Did you bless the top of the glory of Martin? The same Teresa, a little flower, St. Francis of Assisi. And with all the saints, the constant procession in your presence, we rely upon him and God. In the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. In the servant Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have made for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom we have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleased to you with their passing in this life, your kindness to your kingdom. There we hope you enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you restore the world with all that is. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs>
Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to transform into what we should, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we're getting another month already, so we want to take the opportunity to recognize birthdays and uh, wedding anniversaries. And for those who have birthday during the month of October, please come forward for a special blessing. Birthday during the month of October. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Through the prayers of your servants, who recall today the day of their birth and rejoice in the gifts of life of our family and friends. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love. That they may enjoy many happy years, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. We have come together to celebrate the anniversary of the marriage of our brothers and sisters. As we join them in their joy, we join them also in their gratitude. God has set them among us as a sign of His love, and through the years they have remained faithful and fulfilled the responsibilities of parents. Let us give thanks for all the favors they have received during their married life. May God keep them in their love for each other, so that they may be more and more of one mind, one heart. Amen. A couple of announcements. Each education classes for grades K to 12 have begun and held in the center after Mass on Sunday. So after uh, we receive those staff, the classes will be at 10 30. And they go until 25. So these education classes, K to 12, are, have started, so please keep the children over there. 10 30 to 11 25. Uh, also, I think the uh, Bible study group is going to be meeting again next Sunday, the first Sunday. For those who are in the Bible study group who would like to join the Bible study group, they will go from the center uh, from the same time frame. The church typically will be held on October 24th. The Sunday Mass beginning at 10 o'clock instead of 9 o'clock. Uh, the serve food will be served around noon. So the beginning is being catered this year. So if you were not right here for the hand count in August or have to give your name already to the front office, please do so to make sure we have that food for the time. So very specific October 24th with Mass at 10 o'clock. Are there any other announcements for today? Oh, good morning, church. Good morning. On behalf of the Knights of Peace Labor, uh, St. Francis Council 160, I'm happy to announce that we're now accepting scholarship applications to all of our graduating seniors. So, graduating seniors, graduating in 2022, make sure that you get a scholarship application. And thanks to the general support of all of our church family, we were able to double that scholarship last year from five hundred to thousand dollars We'll give a thousand dollars this year as well. So make sure that you put that application in 
you can see any of the members of the Knights of Peter Flavor for an application or email us at council160 at gmail.com to request an application. Uh, also, want to welcome any guests who are with us or your guests with us today, depending on where you're from. We would welcome any guests with us today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless our Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, serving God by the heavenly name and comfort of all lives.